After leaving New Jersey, I decided to stop in the Hamptons and pay a visit to my friend and fellow master gardener, John Hill. He tells me about this extraordinary poolside garden grotto. I can't wait to see how this garden has evolved. Well, it's really, it's extraordinary. <laughs> well, the, the, these shell seats are so gorgeous. Uh, the last time I was here, uh, the wisteria for Tessens wasn't in bloom, and, and, and now you can see some remnants of it in flower. This is a wonderful plant. The, uh, it's uh, uh, Wisteria frutescens amethyst falls, and it's really underutilized. It's one of the native uh, wisterias, and one of the things that we like about it is that it doesn't grow as, as voraciously as the, uh, as the Asian yeah. uh, varieties. Yeah. What I love about it is you've incorporated some shells that have the same color as the, the wisteria, so you've got this echo going back and forth. It's, yeah. it's really lovely. Yeah. Now, now, remind me of the story of th some of these shells because many of them have holes in them. Yes. Well, the shells come from all over the, the United States, um, here in the Northeast and as far south as down in Louisiana. And in fact, these shells here are castaways from a button factory. And then one of our local guys brought us some of the clam shells from here and in, in on eastern Long Island, and we also have oyster shells as well from this area. And then some of the gardeners also went down on the beach and we collected a few things from down on the beach. Well, I just, I think they're just fantastic. I guess the, the jewel in the crown here really is the grotto. Oh, it is indeed. You haven't seen the grotto since we finished it. No, I haven't. My goodness, look at this. It's fantastic. It's extraordinary. <laughs> well, I don't think I've seen so many shells in such an orderly pattern in my entire life. There's so much art, but it's made with all natural materials. It is, it is. I mean, the shells, there are fossil shells. There are shells from all over the world. We have tumbled stone in the floor. There is Texas limestone, the cartouche and the carvings. And the sound, just the, the, the trickle of that water is just mesmerizing. Well, in fact, water plays a very important role here on the property. We have to the south, the Atlantic Ocean, to the north, a pond, and then within the property, there's a swimming pool and various other water features. And here in the grotto, there's just a wonderful, relaxing trickle of water. And you have to remember that on a hot afternoon, water provides a nice, cool, and soothing sound. Yes, the water itself uh, on you and just to hear it. Now, the idea of the grotto goes way back. I mean, it's really an ancient idea, but in the uh, uh, Baroque and Rococo period, um, you saw these being built in Europe all over the place. Yes, indeed. And in fact, um, it's partly the inspiration for our grotto here is some of the great, especially in Italy, and of course in England as well, there are some wonderful, wonderful grottos, and they were the inspiration for this, for our pool. It's just such a, a whimsical and beautiful addition to this garden. Yeah. Thank you so much for the tour. My pleasure. Great to see you again. Mm -hmm.